Nebulizers. There are four parts to a nebulizer. The face mask or mouthpiece, the tubing, the nebulizer chamber, and the compressor. The nebulizing chamber is a small chamber in which a liquid drug is turned into a fine mist or aerosol, which you can inhale into your lungs. It is made up of three parts and will not function correctly unless all three parts are in place. The compressor is the power source responsible for pressurizing the air to produce the aerosol or mist. Steps to use a nebulizer. Wash your hands thoroughly before you use a nebulizer and make sure the equipment is clean. Connect the nebulizer tubing to the port of the compressor on one end and the other end to the nebulizer itself. Twist the top off the plastic vial and squeeze the contents into the nebulizer chamber. Connect the nebulizer chamber to the mask or mouthpiece. To use the nebulizer correctly, hold it in the upright position. This will prevent spillage. When you use a nebulizer, sit in a comfortable upright position. Place the mouthpiece between your teeth and close your lips around it. When using a mask, be sure it fits well so the mist doesn't get into your eyes. Check with your doctor or nurse as to which type is most suitable for you. Gently exhale. As the mist starts, inhale slowly through your mouth. Take over three to five seconds for each breath and continue breathing normally. When you use a nebulizer, occasionally tap the side of it to help medication drop to where it can be misted. Continue until the medicine is gone from the nebulizing chamber. The nebulizer will most likely begin spluttering when it is empty. A tiny drop of nebulizer solution is always left at the bottom of the nebulizing chamber after use. When using the compressor, put it on a clean, hard surface such as a table. Always keep the compressor off the floor to prevent dust getting inside. Keeping your nebulizer equipment clean. Your nebulizer equipment may not work properly if it becomes dirty. You should care for all parts of your equipment, especially the nebulizer chamber. Neglecting to do so will promote bacteria growth. Wash the nebulizer chamber daily in clean, warm water, rinse and dry. Wash the face mask or mouthpiece after use in warm water, rinse and leave to dry. Clean the case of the compressor with a moist cloth. The compressor must be turned off at the mains before doing this. Store your nebulizer and supplies in a clean, dry and dust-free location. Taking care of your nebulizer equipment. Dispose of nebulizing tubing that becomes cloudy or retains moisture. Using a nebulizer chamber for longer than indicated will result in slower, less efficient delivery of medication. You should have your compressor checked and maintained about twice a year and the nebulizing chamber about every two months. You may have to change your filters more regularly. These are changed when they become discolored. Ask the manufacturer how often you need to change the inlet and outlet filters. You should inquire about emergency provision should your compressor develop a fault. Some hospitals have a nebulizer service and will provide support.